Welcome, fellow Rimrims, to Crusader Kings 3, The Rise of High Lord Alexander the Graceful Tyrant. Most likely the final chapter in High Lord Alexander the Graceful Tyrant's graceful reign over everything gracefully. Unfortunately, I do have some bad news in that vampires, uh, just by the, the medium of not being Catholic or Hellenic, actually can't restore Rome. So unfortunately, that goal is now completely ruined. Is what I would say if I didn't go and enable it so that we could go and restore Rome. So uh, basically, you know, it's just base game Rome restoration now, uh, minus the need to be. So so in the base game, you have to be either C Catholic or Hellenic, funnily enough. Um, or I believe the culture Roman, which we could have done, to be fair. Um, well, no, we couldn't because there's obviously no Roman culture left on that. But you get what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, it, 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 it's, it's limited, right? It would have been very difficult to do. More importantly, you have to hold the Byzantine Empire title uh, before the decision will even show up. So that's uh, completely impossible for us until now. So what we need is 5,000 prestige. Easy as dicks. We can do that in no time at all. We need Venice, Sicily, Capua, Aquila, Antioch, Palestine, Alexandria, Tunis. Um, basically, grab the rest of Italy. I'll do that in the, the blink of an eye. I was going to say a flash, but that's not the right expression. Uh, Antioch, Palestine, Alexandria. To be honest, we started working on that stuff yesterday anyway. Uh, like I said, just kind of swoop through. Um, to be honest, we could, if we tied it the rest of Italy, we could head down through Sardinia and kind of meet in the middle here in Cairo. That'll work. I can't believe how, how easy it is to form to form Rome compared to... We, don't, we barely even hold all of Byzantium there. Well, we don't, quite clearly don't hold all of Byzantium there. Do you need... The only... Byzantine promise you need is Thrace. Really? Oh, Athens as well. Oh, Thessalonica. Okay. So three duchies in the Byzantine Empire to be considered Rome. That's a bit weird. Okay, fine. Here we are. Um, this will take all of about two seconds in. So let's take our military, drop them somewhere down here. Uh, let's just get to work because we, sp we splintered uh, obviously Sicily right now um, in many, 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 many different parts. Oh, Christ, we're in debt. Okay, never mind then. Um... So this won't take two seconds to just siege them all down. I mean, if we just go duchy to duchy here, it's going to cost a shitload of prestige, but it won't take too long to to get rid of everything. Oh, I also forgot to give out all these bloody titles, didn't I? Too busy messing around with, with decisions and whatnot. What do we even conquer last? Uh, I have absolutely no idea where all this bloody land has come from. Uh, What? <laughs> ah, wh where is all this crap? The Vatican? Right there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, there's a couple. Oh, I guess I just wasn't zoomed in far enough. There we are, much better. All our factions are disbanding now, too, because we don't hold every title in the realm. Right, let's get rid of some prisoners, see if we can kind of crawl out of debt as fast as possible, and then we'll get to work straight with demand payments. Four of them? That'll do. Just about get us through to the green. Okay, here we are. Right, get out of here. Don't, I don't, I don't care about the notifications. I noticed this mod sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, in the other series, it worked for a few episodes and then it didn't work. I can only see it's why other things are updating and breaking it. Uh, hopefully Paradox will add a little toggle for that later on, so we don't have to fuck around with mods all the time. Right, let's get to work then, team. So, Ancona, uh, what have we got for you? Holy Wolf or Duchy? Oh, you shit. Um, that's quite annoying. Should we try and go kind of a bit more systematically about it and, and try and pick only what we need for... Like, we don't need Ancona to form the Roman Empire. Again, it makes no bloody sense whatsoever. Um... Sicily, Capua, Aprila, Antioch, Palace, Palestine, Alexandria, Tunis. So we need Aprila and Capua as our kind of primary ones in Italy. And then Sicily as well. Um, it's Sicily. It's still the kingdom of Sicily, isn't it? Right, okay. But they actually just want the duchy, which again, doesn't really make much sense. But let's declare war for that first then. Conquer duchy, uh, Cephal Cephalonia. Oh, we're going to have to get all the way down to the part of Sicily first. That's a shit. Uh, what, what are you part of? Um, Duchy of Tunis. That's not true at all. Uh, go back to Rome. Capua is one of them, isn't it? Uh, k k k k k yes, it is. Right, just there. Thank you. Yep, fine. Done. You're first on my shit list then, buddy. Conquer duchy. Is that a single province? Conquer, conquer county. Okay, good shit. Um, <laughs> it almost feels wrong to deal with this guy first, but you know what? That's fine. Let's just get him out of the way. All right. Thank you very much for that. Goodbye. Okay, so that should be all of Capua now, yes? k k k k k No. What else am I missing? Oh, Tunis. Oh, for God's sake, this is going to get annoying. So they've all... Unfortunately, I, I was kind of hoping we'd just be able to go Duchy Conquest, Duchy Conquest. Uh, they've all got weird parts of duchies, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, um, we'll go for you next then. So let's go Conquer Duchy. I guess we'll just conquer the bloody county at that point. Um, you know what? Sod it. I was going to try and be a bit more clinical about it, you know, going for specific points. But you know what? Sod, sod it. Let's just, let's just pick them apart as we would normally. Um, let's go for you then. 
what about down here? Can we declare war down here yet? We can. So we could duchy. What have we got the option of? Yeah, Cephalonia again. We'll have to wait until we get to the more southerly points before we can deal with that. All right, that serves a bit of a bit of a move route. Whenever you're ready, people. Actually, it doesn't take long to reinforce to say that we are coming from everywhere. Middle East, I think we've got parts of Northern Africa now, right? All the way up to Scotland. And goodbye to you as well, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, bollocks. We're going the wrong way. Turn around. Sorry. That's going to cost us hundreds of gold. What a mistake. All right, there we are. What, what's wrong with you? What was that noise? Oh, that was a noise to say, congratulations. You've completely overkilled yet another war. Brilliant. Okay, drop this shit down. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's something. Uh, how am I looking with my Rome decision now, brother? Saw the Roman Empire. Right, so Kappa is done. Aprila. Aprila, Aprila, Aprila. Um, that should be fairly straightforward. Sardinia and Corsica control that and Sicily. So this guy's going to have to get eaten, I'm afraid. Otherwise, he's going to slow us down quite a lot. That gives us Aprila. Or we could go for... I mean, to be fair, we probably still can't declare war on Sicily yet. And you are done as well. Okay, right, let's get rid of that guy. I think a murder plot's probably a probably a faster method around him, right? 28%? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Diablery? 28%. Oh my god, really? Um, Well, basically a free meal in that case. No problem. Fine. Th this guy kills us. <laughs> Ah, this fucking guy kills us. A hearty snack. 40, oh god, 87% chance of us winning. Oh, thank god for that. I was going to say, if that guy actually did kill us, then that would be a bit shitty. 500 formatic experience, 1% chance for celerity or potence. I don't think we're ever going to get that, are we? <laughs> ah, uh, what have we got here? Blood sorcery, dominate, presence, fortitude, ventru, obfuscate. Yeah, you know how it goes. Right, okay. Um, Dominate the forgetful mind or submerge directive. I don't know what these do, uh, and I don't think we really need to worry about it this time either. Anyway, oh, that splintered Sardinia quite nicely. Although that guy, we're already what? Well, that's quite annoying. Um, I've ended up killing a man we were at truce with in exchange for two other people we were at truce with. Don't embark the armies. No, they're too expensive, brother. Disband them. Get out of here. Fine. Okay, fine. Maybe I did embark them. God, it's so expensive. Why is war in this so bloody expensive? Like prestige in Casas Bella are no longer the limiting factor. It's just, it's just gold. It's just pure gold all the way down. Um, right, you need to be constantly. So, so Rome has that um, invalid. Oh, it's already at 100. Oh, you're a liar. Um, it won't be for long because we have that building in Rome. Um, 0.3 minus control growth per month because of the, the the divided Rome special building. What do we need for that? Holy shit. Um, oh. That cancels out the divide. Oh, man, I need that. I need that. Uh, it cancels out the, the control negative, which means we always keep maximum tax troops. You know how it be. Um, that'd be really nice. Is there anything else that gives control? Uh, that's terrible. Uh, no. Uh, oh, the throne room would be nice, though, wouldn't it? She just got a free martial perk from increasing the masquerade by fighting in the street. That actually gave us. I didn't realize this was a thing. That actually gave us Serve the Crown. Control growth plus 0.3 per month. I don't think I've ever gone into the Overseer tree, but it's actually quite good, isn't it? Oh, minus 15%. Hello. I should check out the Control tree a bit more, because I think it could be quite useful for kind of the stage route right now. I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Trying to control a giant fucking ram is a pain in the ass, and that's what that tree is kind of designed to help prevent. Okay. Uh, curse you, Gilbert. What did he do? Oh, he's just a dick. Classic Gilbert. And goodbye. Okay. Uh, 83%. Oh, is this this guy's capital we've sieged down is still still going, huh? It's impressive. Please, no, don't count siege. Please, he's Please, brother, every step we take costs a thousand gold. You are bankrupt in the realm. Please, my family is starving. <laughs> oh, right, let's get back in there. Fucking hell. Um, we've discovered cranes. Is there any way we can profit from that? A uh, new cultural fascination. Hold on. Sorry, hold on. Stop the bombards. Stop the reformation of Rome. We've discovered cranes, everyone. Round of applause, please. Uh, Ermine Cloats gives 10% prestige. Renaissance Thought. Um, maximum existing dev Nazi development. Okay, cool. Um, court officials. Domain limit plus one. That's quite nice. Uh, play armor. Heavy infantry bonuses or sappers. Siege phase time minus 10%. Well, that's overkill, uh, to be honest. Um, none of these are particularly great. I think I'll take the Ermine Cloats because we need the prestige for Rome and to build... Uh, that building in Rome as well. Double double roamage. Uh. Flagellate. 
Scourge. I mean, Flagellate for an Immortal Vampire who can't die seems like it could be a fairly good choice of stress reduction. The downside to it is you become wounded. Uh, but even out of that, you can get Scarred, which is cool, because Scars are cool and you get prestige. So I don't see why that's really a problem. Um, well, not for us, anyway. I can understand for a regular person being flagellated constantly is probably not a good thing. How are we looking on the button, what makes Rome button? Uh, Stony de Prilla, Stony Sicily, Venice. Venice, Venice, how could I forget? All right, okay. Um, hello. No Casas Belli. What? <laughs> ah, we are also in debt. Bigger problem. We gotta fabricate claims. For God's sake. It's okay. We're good. Debt's paid off. We're fine. Okay, 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 okay. Stop that. Um, you, 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 you. Why can't I take Hunger County? What has he got? Uh, what have you got? Ancona. Or, we want to take Veneto, I guess, first. Um, and then we'll head over from there to Venice proper. There's no, is there no straight crossing between Venice and, I guess not. It was Treviso, obviously, in, um, there was, there was no Veneto, it was just Trini Treviso in, uh, CK2. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's bring you guys up to, I think, what about, what about right there? I think that's fine. Now, again, we can stop them reinforcing. So when we get to, like, 6,000, we could just say, that's enough, you're all right, thank you. Otherwise, I and mean, try and save a bit of money. So not a bad plan for, like, every war we do for the rest of all time. Any second now. Hello? About that claim that you said I didn't have. Uh, it turns out we found one down the back of the sofa. Thank you. Right, okay. Uh, let's go about... I think that's fine. It's more than enough troops. Only 86 gold to embark, and we're still in profit. This is great. This is a much better system. Why have I not been doing this before? Boom, there we are. Uh, no more overkill armies. Let's give Venice away to... I mean, anybody that wants it, really. I don't really care. What have they got? Doge's Palace. That's quite cool. No Arsenal. Uh, Levy says 100% garrison size plus 100%. Bring on the Republic DLC. Right, get out of there. Okay, um... So, that gives us Venice. That's another That's another tick off my tit list. Sicily, Aprila, we can't do anything about. We're at truce with all of them. Antioch, Palestine, Alexandria next on the list then. Let's head over to uh, roughly this area. Um, we've got the Queen of Olives there, right in my fucking way. So we'll deal with her first, I guess. Um, let's drop you there. Hello! It's me. You may remember me from yesterday when I took all your stuff. Uh, change objective. What do you want? Beirut? Let's go for that one. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll head down. Oh, we don't have a border yet, do we? Because really controls the, the Watafu now. What do I have to control again? Uh, Roman Empire. Blah, 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 blah. Pa Palestine. What does Palestine count as? Uh, du jour. Gaza, Jaffa, Jerusalem. Fine. Um, so that we don't... I was just thinking maybe we need some of this stuff, but no, we're fine. The province of Tiberias. Definitely not Roman. Definitely not Roman. Never heard of anything so ridiculous in my entire life. Are you seriously going to do that? Okay. Well, you're a pain in the ass, aren't you? Oh. <gasps> One of my old meals is trying to take over my mind. I feel Raziel inside my mind, struggling to take control of my body. What have I done? Given a letter takeover. We gain patient. We gain content. We lose callous. I haven't got a problem with that. Gaining patient and losing callous, which is... What's, oh, callous is something we want. Bollocks. Um, we don't want content. 25%. So there's a 71% chance of us having a 75% chance per trait not for, to gain her trait. Or we adjust our personality to match her a little bit. Um, well, I guess we'll go for that one then and take this critical stress. Never one by stress. Oh, but we won. Ah, oh, she was a fool to try and challenge us. Oh, bollocks. I accidentally reinforced my entire army again. Shit. Um, we've done it. That's fine, then. Nice work. Uh, what we'll do, then, is we'll say, give yourself a bit of a beating. Um, you know, you deserve it. Here you are. And beat away. Just gonna just gonna beat the stress off. Perfect. Uh, now that we've done beating off, we can head back out to the stress, that is. Uh, we can head back out to battle. Yeah, we'll also lash out. Beat someone else off. Get out of here. Right. Here we go. 82%. Fantastic work. Uh, I, to be honest, we could probably just wait for ticking war score. Yep. Definitely wait for ticking war score. Goodbye. Thank you. Call to war. Oh, bollocks. 87. 88. 89. 90. Thank you. 90 out of 100, which is actually 100 out of 100. Perfect. Beirut. Don't want it. Someone else. Someone else deal with this. Thank you. Oils. Perfect. Right. Okay. So, now we've got a, a clear way. It's my wife. <sighs> it's my wife. Whatever I want to do. I am a very, very good bad boy, though. We could just murder her. Um, hi, Lady Medea. 
my honey, my ragtime girl. It's time to die, I'm afraid. Right, good work. <laughs> what am I doing to her? Uh, let's go let's bring some people on board as well. Just just make sure we hit that 100% because nothing is going to stand between us and Rome at this point, I'll be honest with you. Bribe, how much do you want? 85 fucking dollar he does. Good God. Because uh, we are a strategist, we can... That's quite nice that they're actually... In, uh, those have a use just outside of, you know, kind of personality traits uh, when compared to CK2. Come on. Join my plot. 95. There we are. And you as well. There we are. And 1600 gold. Oh, and... She's ready to die. Oh, that poor lady. I can't believe what happened. How tragic. We should try and marry someone who's lowborn so we can actually put them to work on our council. Because it's not as if we need bloody... Uh, what do we... Who have we got? Concubines. Uh, we've got Dilba. Catherine... Okay, so we've got, like, Joan of Arc. Uh, uh Aloth. For, of Riverwood, I assume. Damn horse thief. Uh, Catherine Diar, the main sister. She's pretty good. Alright, we'll marry you. That's a, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a marriage. How do, how do we do that? Where's the where's the marry lady button? Marry lady button. We could convert it to witchcraft. Not really what I was after. Oh, she's our daughter. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. We could summon like a good mortal and convert them, or we could just kind of find anybody. Basically, let's go top round. That's basically all anyway, because we are the ruler of everything. Um, ladies who are adults, preferably. Uh, females. Who are not rulers. That's the important thing. I finally want a wife at court. That'd be quite good. Marry our niece, do you think? Range marriage. Her to her to us. Her to us. Uh, they're alright with that. Chance of children, none at all. That's okay. Uh, we do gain 700 prestige from that as well. Done. I'm alright with that. I think that's a fair... She's also 1,464. So just about as... Uh, just about as old and powerful as us. I quite like that. Um, the bully of Arakur... Oh, so she's also the same generation of us as as, as us as well? Oh, no, no, no. She's, uh... Oh, right, of course, because she's our niece. She's the generation below us, but that's all right. But he also pointed out that there is the sort button, uh, which I completely forgot about. What I was going to do very quickly, if we go reset all and go all, sort by age, and then sort by... There are still vampires older than us. Bollocks. I thought we got them all. Um, where, where the hell are we? There we are. Um... 1484. They're all the oldest ones. Um, so we've got Anath, the goddess of war and love. Too far away to interact with. Nakatum, the wind of change. Eater. Uh, who else we got on this list? Uh, you. Me? Why am I at the top now? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, we've got this guy, Gurma. Too far away. Yeah, there's only so far we can go, unfortunately. I guess we'll just murder you. Oh, really? <laughs> ha! She's just got one slight different duchy there. That's a shit. Okay. Go on then, why not? And goodbye. We might have to kill her again as well. Just try and speed things up a bit here. There we go. And you guys can go. Oh, Gottfried von Ber Ber Berlikingen. Okay. Uh, who are you? I'm all right, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, in fact, you know what? Definitely goodbye. Oh, stop me murdering Lord Jaffa. Okay, well never mind then. We need Sinai. I'm almost certain we need Sinai, don't we? Uh, we can actually Damascus, Mecca, Asir. Why can we holy war for? Holy War for Sinai, but we can't just... Damn it! Well, obviously we can't do that. That's ridiculous. We'll lose a level of devotion. <laughs> How the hell are we a paragon of virtue at minus 8,100 piety? Okay. Um, fair enough. We're almost a religious icon. I can see why. 95% he's dead. Oh no, he's dead. Fantastic. Right, back to my back to my list of people to kill. Right, where are we now? So can't kill you. Can't kill... We can kill you. I'm already scheming against her. Right, you can die as well. Goodbye. Order. Naknakurtum, the wind of change. Let's march the ancient death cult. Well, you're going to get your wish then. Happy Christmas. Is that what they say? Oh, she's in our head. Does that mean we failed? Oh, no, we're still going. We're fine. 100% chance of victory. She mesmerized us, but we've still eaten her entirely. Excellent. There we are. Some more resonance for me. Thank you very much. We need to kill our war for Sicily now, though, with all this fucking around. Okay. Uh, Duchy of Sicily. Thank you very much. And then what about you? Declare war. Oh, God, we're still at truce with that guy. Shit. Well, that's all right. Oh, that was too many troops. Balls. No, stop, 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 stop. Shit. Well, that's going to cost us a fortune. <laughs> ah, never mind. Got to be thorough with it, huh? All right, let's take it. Give me... I'll, I'll take I'll take everything. Can I have another vampire with some spiders? Balls. Against Watcher for two years, shit. Oh, you know what? We'll cancel the plot against him then for the time being. And we'll move on to murdering her so that we can move into 
her realm instead without breaking truces. We might be a horrible guy who devours the soul of other fellow vampires. Um, the most unforgivable crime. But we follow truces, damn it. I believe in international law. Because without international law, everything's going to devolve into chaos. And we're good. There we are. Thank you. I didn't want to embark again. Right. Good shit. Right. Let's drop you. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're very close to succeeding. We just need this from him. Um, when are we at truce still? Oh, it just dis disappeared. Ooh. A tome. Obtained an old ledger. Thank you. Sports almanac. Right. Let's conquer, conquer a county. And let's hit Syracuse. Gotta raise my entire friggin' army for this again. Brilliant. Oh no, she's dead. Excellent. Right, so we'll, after we've done unifying the rest of Sicily, we'll head back to... Oh, bollocks. We'll head, uh, we'll head back down to Palestine and see what we can do over there. Hello? Oh, come on. Please surrender, for God's sake. There we are. Just hold out War of Attrition. I suppose that doesn't really work in multiplayer either, does it? Because other players could, wouldn't just surrender. You, could, you would have to force them up to the 100%. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how that does work. Anyway, um, right. Okay, Palestine. Let's do it. Uh, give me some, give me some boys. Let's drop them, drop them here. Right, this should be a single duchy conquest now, right? Conquer duchy. That'll loot. Thank you very much. I think 3,500 is probably just about enough. Oh, God. We're fine. Ah, <laughs> you fool. Cannot, even one bombard is pretty, that's pretty imposing, right? We need now Sicily. A, Sicily? Hey? What the hell am I missing? Oh, Malta. Balls. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. Um, I guess we'll have to embark for this one, team. I hate to say it. Let's drop you. Uh, okay, right there. That's fine. That's kind of what I wanted to do anyway. Right. Declare war. Excuse me. I'd really like Sicily, please, brother. It's for Rome. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. You've probably gone through it before. Um, you can oh, forgive him. Yeah, whatever. You're forgiven. Thank you. If everyone, if they just stop fucking messaging me for five minutes. How much have we got to juggle here? Done. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Very nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Drop the rally point back over in somewhere like Gaza. That's fine. How are we looking? Where's my Rome button? Okay, okay. So we've got Apuila, Antioch, Alexandria, Tunis. Antioch we could probably go for now, actually. So let's bring you back up to... Oh, we got to fight the bloody olive, olive woman again. Olive woman, get out of here. Another spider death. My god, we are we are single-handedly keep alive this spider economy. Right, goodbye, olive woman. Let's go conquer duchy. That should give us the last of what we need there. I don't believe we need uh Cyprus, do we? Okay, let's just do it then. Right, reinforce as much as necessary. Let's try it again. Still still save money. Still save a little bit of money. Oh, well that'll fucking do it. <laughs> what? Okay, fine. How are we looking? Restore Rome. Yes, it's just a point like Alexander and Tunis. Right, right, okay, okay. Um, so we're going to have to cut through here anyway. So we're going to have to now go to war with this fella for Sinai, I guess. Uh, just to give us a kind of foot in the door. Thank you very much. Oh, God, he's quite large, isn't he? What have I done here? What a mistake. Uh, Jerusalem, that's a fine rally point. Okay, um, let me just give away whatever we picked up over here. Uh, oils, great name. Great name for a province. Oils, though. Okay. Um, do we want to... That's fine. Do we want to maybe reinforce fully this time around? Let's reinforce up to like, okay, I was going to say 12,000, but 21,000, fine, whatever. And then we'll just siege across this way through to Sinai. We'll just grab what we can. Um, unless we want to go to, we go to his capital? No, I can't be bothered. Too far away. Just grab the war goal, then it'll probably be, probably be done anyway, right? We've got three more provinces around here to pick up. God, this is slow going, huh? Right, there we are, 65%. Why is there not just an insta-win button? I thought that's what the bombards were, Paradox. Done. The culture has joined the dark, fantastic era. New innovations are available. Thank you. Does that mean we've finished all the technology then? Um, I don't care about High Lady. I don't even know who she is. I think she's our wife. I don't really keep track of things. Right. Done. And boom. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's give some shit away then, shall we? Uh, preferably not mortals. I don't want to give land to mortals. Uh, you can have this one, this one. Boom. All yours. Uh, pleasure. I'll, I'll, I'll attend a feast. What the hell not? Oh, look at us now. We're, we're very, very close. Um, to be honest, if we go to war for the Nile Delta, which should be just a single war, cut through, and that should all be the Duchy of Alexandria, right? It's Duchy of Cairo. Oh, bollocks. Well, we, we don't, we don't care about that. We can just go to war for the Duchy of Alexandria, because it's got a border with it anyway. G Delta. Done. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and chuck all 
this shit away pretty quickly. Please, please, please. Someone take this. Take this. I don't want it. Boom, boom. Oils. There we are. Okay. Stream is not an automatically give out all my friggin' titles because I really don't want any of them, Button. Um, would be a little bit... <laughs> a little bit poorly named, I will admit. Right, get rid of all that crap. Alexandria, you are almost one of the last ones on my list here, brother, so I apologize if I'm just going to smash and grab. Good for you. That sh that's a duchy. Oh, God, and then he's back in the way again, so we've got another murder plot lined up in a second. This is fine, though. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. Raise my armies. Kill them dead. Actually, it's capsules there. Let's just go for the bloody capsule. Um... What the verse below me? I'll follow this young man's career with great interest. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Thank you very much. Okay. There we go. Uh, we somehow not gained a bit of land there. How the hell have we missed that? But you have Delta. Oh, was he just an independent ruler? Well, that's all right. We'll come back and clap him later. Right. Disband the troops. Get out of here. Okay. We are getting very, very, very close to the goal. In fact, is that ours? Oh, shit. We don't even need to push through Northern Africa to get there. We can just conquer it and drop a rally point right inside their lines. That's incredible. Um, I've picked up a lot of crap again by the looks of it. Um, I don't know give this away. I can lose my mind. Yeah. Yours, yours, yours. Enjoy. We're losing control on Rome again because of our our magic Roman palace. Um, thank you. You know there's too many notifications when they're quite literally going behind other UI elements, huh? Right, let's go for you quickly. Uh, deal with deal with Rome. Yeah. Sit there forever. Never leave. Right. Kill them dead. Shouldn't take too long to reinforce it. Yeah, be careful. Go, 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 go. Hello. Just here to uh, take the final, by the way, title for the Roman Empire, I think. If I haven't fucked anything up. Um, which is possible. What? Uh, what the hell did I just declare war for? And why was it? Siege of Tunis. We've gained something. What the hell did we gain? Wait, Mo Modena? I don't want Modena. What? No. Is that actually what I just took from him? Bollocks. Oh, God. Well, okay. Fine. Another murder plot then. Go on. Get out of here. Getting the trait murderer? That's not fair. It was an accident. We can't even see because, of course, the traits cap out in this game for whatever reason. Uh, right. Okay. So, let's go to war with this guy. Um, press this guy's claims. You're my, you're my vassal. Are you? Hello. Oh, you are. Well, that's convenient because he's got everything else that we wanted there. Um, also part of Tunisia. Uh, and then we'll also obviously deal with Tunisia. And that's it. We're done. Rome. An, an entire Rome. And then we'll see what decisions we have available after that. Um, if there's anything else worth going for, we'll go for it. But this has been a, a, a fairly straightforward experience. A problem with CK3 is the snowball effect. And I've seen a lot of time lapse and a lot of people posting pictures of just... I said it in the other series as well, actually. Um, big Byzantium. Uh, I mean, it's Islamic nations mostly. Just absolutely blob out of control. Caliphates, the Abbasids, Umayyads. Whoever happens to be on the map at the time, they are just unstoppable. Like in our other series, Seljuk, obviously. Um, right, let's drop. Uh, give me some military, please. Let's drop you. Excuse me. Brother, why is my rally point arguing with me? Move there. Thank you. Okay. No, I didn't mean to raise all yet. A little, little bit ahead of myself. Right. Declare war. Um, duchy, duchy, duchy. Conquer duchy. Yep. I will be taking that one. Uh, Istria. I would like to conquer your duchy of... Uh, what have you got? I guess that one. No? I guess I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll take that one. That seems like it's uh, relatively where we need to be. And then you are take... Um, take one of those. Thank you. I know that we don't need it, but we might as well try and tidy things up a little bit while we're here in the neighborhood, huh? Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was fast. Thank you. I think I took the wrong title there. Shit. Yep, once again, wrong fucking title. Get out of here. Right, okay. Um, defeat? What? Defeated by who? Was that a war I was... That must have been a war I was called into, because I didn't... I don't get defeated. I don't think you understand. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. Never, never has once happened. Get out of here. I still can't believe I fucked this one up again. No, I haven't. We're still at war with this guy. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're okay still. Uh, <laughs> why are you not sieging? We've got to reset. There we go. Got it. Okay, that's fine. And I think that's everything. No? I still not... What the fuck are we going to war for? All right. You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll read things a bit more carefully this time. Uh... I will admit, I'm speeding a little bit because I don't just want to have, like, a five-minute episode tomorrow where we press the form room button. Um, I feel like we can we can, we can can get it all in. It's part of the challenge. You know, it's part of the... Any, anybody can form Rome when you give them 1,500 years to do it in, right? Okay. Get out of here. 
So we still don't have the Duchy of <laughs> Tunis, but some somehow, somehow I fucked this up again. Die! Please get out of here. Oh no, he's dead. Maybe he ate another spider. Right, okay. Here we go. Conquer Duchy. Tunis this time. That's definitely 100% the right province. No questions about that. Let's kill him dead. We don't need we don't need all these troops. Thank you. I appreciate it though, but we really it was just unnecessary. Right, 100 percent Thank you. <laughs> oh, am I good? Is there a Rome button waiting for me? There is, but we don't have the 5,000 prestige. Uh, so you know what this means? I get to sit here now for the next 50 years, hosting a feast the lights of which this realm has never been seen. It's like, well, you own all the all the land you need to reform Rome, but uh, tragically enough, just haven't had enough feasts, brother. Okay, that's fine. Hang on, we'll mark that special interest. We'll mark you as special interest. We're going on some pilgrimages. Shot. Why not? Honestly, let's go crazy. Go to London. Actually, that took no time at all. I created a couple of titles, usurped a couple of titles. Look at this. 49 AC4 already? Shit. And, my friends, look upon the realm. Because here it is. The Empire of Transylvania is destroyed. The Eternal Senate is destroyed. The Black Cross is destroyed. And Avalon is destroyed. It seems appropriate. And then instead, a new copy title history from the Byzantine Empire. Uh, feudal elective. That's fine. We've gained the trait Augustus. You can be an August Augustus if you've already got it. In fact, do we already have August Augustus? Um, is it bother even going down the diplomacy trays this guy? We didn't, unfortunately. Friends... Romans, countrymen, so let me your ears. After the miraculous recovery of territory lost centuries ago, the Roman Empire has been reborn. Slightly. Europe has endured dark times since barbarians stormed the imperial frontiers, but now a bright new age has dawned for all of civilization. The Roman state will no longer be referred to as the Empire of the Greeks, says the Greek man by jealous pretenders in the West, but recognizes the true heir to the legacy of Rome. The Imperium Romanum stands strong once more, restored to its ancient glory under my enlightened ruled, ready to spread civilization, safety, and holy light to our order of all corners of the known world for the Senate and people of Rome. Gain the trait Augustus, which gives us, I assume, something quite nice. Prestige vassal opinion. You got the Roman Empire. Thank you. Uh, and all of our old titles are dead and destroyed. And there we are. One Roman boy. It means he is finally free. The curse may be lifted. Our beautiful boy is back. You know what? Get rid of these clothes. They're ridiculous. Our beautiful boy returns home. There he is. Is there anything else we can do in Rome? Uh, restore the Black Cross. Oh, if we control Saxony, we can make... Okay, so there's a couple of other options. We've got, uh, obviously, setting the sun. We need to completely uh, control Britannia. Restoring the Black Cross. Um, oh, that gives us the fives of the Black Cross. No, we don't want that. Um, restoring the Eastern Lords. We get Eastern Lords, which is a king-level title. Yeah, so we definitely want to do that. Okay, that sounds pretty good. We could do that. We just don't want to do this one. Otherwise, we'll get the, the Black Cross again. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. Why the hell not? We destroyed the title. We can make it again. That's fine. We'll, we'll make it in our image this time. We might as well, seeing as they're our kind of final goals here. There's no restoring the Roman borders or anything like that. Um, you could, but you just have to... I mean, obviously, we don't we don't, we don't have that option being a uh, big old big old vampire fella. So we should be able to do the fives now. Uh, yep, restoring the Black Cross is done. What are we game for that? Oh, we just gained the Empire title. Um, I'll be honest. I think I prefer Rome. Uh, sorry to say. So we'll just hang on to both. That's no problem at all. We've got to deal with Britain as well. So this won't take two seconds, I don't think. Uh, we are going to have to declare another war against uh, Lothian. Maybe one or two, actually, because they've also got bloody Anglesey randomly enough. One down. Thank you very much. Right, let's head over here. Tidy you up very, very fast. As fast as our little legs will carry us. Thank you very Oh, God, are we going to win that? A little bit risky, but we're fine. That's okay. Nothing to worry about. And done. Thank you very much. Got to remember to give away some bloody land in a second before we get out of hand again. All right, that's the first lot done. Uh, how are we looking now then? Um, oh, yeah, it's just this tiny little bit left to go. Uh, unfortunately, my friend, it's time for you to meet my good spidery buddy. <laughs> uh, what are we? What, what was after that? There was one more, wasn't there? Um, restoring the Eastern Lords. We need all of Hungary. Um, that's quite a sizable... That's quite a sizable war. And that's everything. Then we're... Then we're basically done here. I'm sure we'd find even more as we spread out uh, and expanded out there, but I want to tidy up just our kind of final few things we've got to do here. The sensible ones that are, you know, decently relative to our borders. And for my next trick, we're going to take <laughs> the final holdout was fucking Angle City of all places. Right, let's get to... Oh, come on. It, well, it's, been, it's been a long... It's been quite a long session today. Uh, let's go for 
conquer county. Remember, declare war, then raise the troops. Can't do it the other way around. That's very illegal, and we respect international law here. I've already said that once. Right, done. Thank you. Get out. Okay. Now all I have to do is convert every single person. Oh, dear. Um, that won't be too bad, will it? It might be. Hang on. Uh, let's go for... If I search via Mithras, and then rank... Counts, 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 count, but baron, baron's baron's baron, right? Okay, demand conversion. Might accept. What if I give you some money? I'm going to pay you 100 gold to fuck off. How about now? Demand conversion. Might accept 30%. Oh, come on. Uh, fine, ask for whatever you want. I don't care. Blessed be the power. Thank you. Okay, one man down. Okay, um, Elika. She likes me anyway. Send us some more gold. And demand conversion. Might accept. Come on, you can do it. But she's not our vassal. Okay, so that might be a problem. Hang on, let's just see if we can do it before I waste any more time. Yes! Most of you have heard of the long, false tale of the Persian god Mithras and his unending exploits and ambitions for the Isles. Tonight, you will hear the whole sad truth. Mithras wanted us to think he came to the British Isles as a savior, but the truth is he was fleeing from his failures in ancient Rome, seeing our homeland as a backwater, barely fit enough to rebuild his power base. Now he has failed once more as Britannia under my, it, uh, is under a new, unifying leadership. His cult scatters, driven out by fire and sword, and destined to be a mere footnote in the Isles of history. As I proclaim to you the fall of the Unconquered Sun, I also proclaim that Britannia is finally ready to become its own driving force in the Canite ceremony. Pretty good speech, if I say so myself. We gained Mithras Spain for 250 years. Jesus. Um... The Holy Order will become founded. You'll be his patron. That's cool. Um, we gain a thousand renown and a level of splendor, which is fairly unnecessary at this point. So the only thing left to do is, is restore the Eastern Lords. So just hungry left. We have been very hungry this entire series. Uh, right, so, I mean, I'm just going to go to war against... No, I'm not. I try to take my mind. Again, respect international law. Right, let's drop you there. Um, international law says nothing about bringing in more bombards, though, does it? Oh, no. <laughs> <gasps> um, I decided to flagellate him as a celebratory uh, as a celebratory victory against Mithras. Uh, we've now beaten him to the point that he can see bone embedded in his flesh. As my skin yawns like hungry balls of death, I am transfixed by the river of blood that spills forth. Thank you. Uh, power, deliver me from this pain. Gain the trait brutally mauled. Wow. Alexander has been broken, clinging to life. Holy shit. What happens if I... Oh, he's incapable? Balls. Um, what happens if I if I whip him again? Let's get a... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Is anyone going to claim on the whole of Hungary? Because that would really that would really speed things up, wouldn't it? No one does. Selfish. Unbelievably selfish. Um, well, let's see if anybody... Uh, so hungry, I don't think has ever existed, to be honest, during the campaign. Clements 4. Oh, that's good. Uh... Duke Vlad Tepez the Impaler of Transylvania. Oh, like like Vlad Vlad. Uh, I mean Vlad the Vlad the Impaler of Faust Dracula. I think I think it might be that. I think it might be the the, the man. Uh, okay. Who else we got here? Up had the agent of God. Unpressed. J uh, join me. Summon. Summon him. Summon him. Land him. Get him. Get him to war. Give him a holly head. God, what a fate worse than death. I need this one as well. Oh, shit. 250 bloody prestige. Shit. Um, anyone got any claims? That'll do. Magister Grimgoth is, is pretty good. Okay. Um, anyone else here? Right, let's do that. Uh, while we're, we're, tr we're trying to summon the other guy, hopefully we can even enforce his claim. I have really no idea about how pressing other people's claims work, particularly in CK3. I'm just going to land him and hope for the best. Um, get out of here. Arrest her. Well, how are we doing on the masquerade, by the way? Because I feel like we've I've been ignoring that basically uh, forever. Uh, masquerade. Hidden still. Oh, excellent. How's the blood? And bring him to me. Welcome to my home. We've got him. I don't want to eat him. I want to land him. That's the opposite of what I want. Uh, Hollyhead is all yours. Anglesey. Boom. What a guy. Right, now hopefully we can press his... Where's the music on? <laughs> now hopefully we can press his claims. Please fuck off. Uh, and, and take this all in one go. And then we've done it. All of our goals. Oh, for God's sake. Hey?
Um... Wow. That's a great story, Mark. Uh, and there it is. The Empire of... God, she's not been in. Perks were locked 24. <laughs> the Empire of Alexander. That was his story. He fought his entire life. And before he could rest, he was killed at the final hurdle. What a story. And it's just, it's just, it, it's, this whole series has been a lesson in hubris. Even when you're at the top, you can fall so far. Especially if you beat yourself to within an inch of your life. Uh, wow. Should we time lapse it for a little while? I think we'll time lapse it and see whether or not our empire without Alexander at the head holds up. Don't hold your breath. So I've run it for as long as I possibly can, basically, without interrupting my schedule. I'm a couple of hours behind all the other series now, but who really cares? So we are up to 1760 AD, approximately 200 years after the fall of the mighty Alexander. Uh, let's take a look around. I mean, it looks mostly the same. It says Roman Empire over the top, so that's um, that's reasonable. They've actually swallowed up a lot of land. We've kept all of our de jour borders as far as I can tell. But we didn't actually expand down here. They've almost connected up northern Africa. Um, they picked up a few more provinces. Obviously, they went massively towards uh, towards Persia there. They did a really good job of kind of making... It's ironic that the Empire of Alexander made a bit more of an Empire of Alexander after Alexander died. Um, obviously, heading down there towards from, from Greece to Persia. They went up into Scandinavia too. Grabbed this province for reasons I don't quite understand. I don't know why they didn't tidy this up. Weird. Uh, basically got stuck up against the Shadow Curtain and the Voiv- Voiv- Voivodit. Uh, what are these guys like? Clan Gangrel. Quite powerful. 1,660 years of age. For potency 3. Only 5,000 troops there. You can't imagine they would have cut swath through those guys. And we got Clan Simacy there as well. Um, 4,600. Yeah, I guess they were just too busy dealing with all these little tiny borders. Obviously, they tidied this up massively. Give it another... I actually wanted to run this up to 2010. Uh, but bear in mind, it took me about two and a half hours for 200 years. Um, it would take a bloody long time. We're, we're talking about like a six or seven hour time lapse when I've got... I mean, the video's got to be up before then. So, fortunately, not going to happen. Um, would have been cool to see kind of where they ended up, though. Wow. Really didn't tidy up Iberia much, did they? I was expecting that to at least come together. Um... Went up through Shetland, Orkney, Faroe Islands, and eventually Iceland too. It all looks about right. Let's go take a look then and see. Oh, they actually pulled apart this empire too, the Ashira Caliphate. I didn't really notice too much of that. Let's take a look then. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> On the plus side, it's still Matilda. It's still Alexander's daughter. Wow. Or, or granddaughter, I guess, in this case. Um, or whatever relative she was. To, I mean, is wow, it's his... Uh, great granddaughter but there's only one character lasted the extra 300 years how long's the game been going so technically she's been the ruler of this realm longer than alexander was right because we let it run for we let it run for 200 years and obviously he only had rome for all of about five fucking minutes that's quite impressive to be honest with you um her husband is naked for reasons i don't quite understand um and there she is how does she do with her so blood plant three she's also obese i've seen a lot of characters with that i don't quite understand she kept the masquerade a secret She's an incredible character. 26 entry, 23 diplomacies. No wonder she's kept the round together. A schemer. Shrewd. Can we... Let's quickly jump in as her, actually. Switch character. And we'll dive in as her and sort of see what she's up to here. She's got a million different armies. And she's currently at war... Roman Clemente County of Rusa. So currently at war with uh, the Shadow Curtain. Oh, sorry. The, the, the Voiv... Voiv... Voivodit. Um... Fair enough. Okay, so she's picking them apart county by county. Which is absurd. 
She's got 45 entry points. I didn't spend any of them. Which is bizarre. Um, or maybe it's more... Maybe it's when the player takes over a character, you can spend them. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much there. She's a really good character. 26,000 prestige. 5,000 gold. I'm interested in what they've actually done with Rome proper. Um, she's kept actually some of the baronies, which is quite surprising too. I thought she'd probably lost all of this by now. Uh, there you go. Eternal Rome. She actually built that level 3 building there that Alexander never had chance to. Diplomacy level pl per fame plus three. Well, that explains why diplomacy is so high. The renown is going to be insane as well. I'm interested in the dynasty tree while we're here. Um, I'm in mean the dynasty. Sorry, the dynasty legacies, I meant. Uh, let's go open legacies. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we didn't unlock that one when we last checked. And we didn't unlock generational belligerence either. So she got two more, two more legacies going ahead there. Um, House Ed is... Uh, her, obviously. Not much of a surprise there. 126 living members. Quite impressive. Is there anything else we want to check? Well, I think we'll check the religious map mode for a start. Yep, our religion absolutely dominated. I mean, that's just true of any religion that owns Rome. Um, Via Tyrannus obviously taking over massively. We've got chunks of, like, Regalus there. Um, the Eternal Senate kicking around. Eternal Senate kicking around. County Faith Eternal. I didn't realize there was an Eternal Senate Faith. Oh, well, there you go. That's quite appropriate. Um, yeah, but obviously Tyrannus uh, way ahead there. Cultures. Culture map mode, basically the same. You got Alpine, Ocasan, French, Breton, English, Scots, Ga I mean, Gaelic. It all looks the same as it should anyway. I don't think there was much cultural conversion at all, which is actually genuinely quite surprising. Bear in mind, it's been going 530 years, and the cultural map mode looks basically how it should. That's a genuine surprise. Okay, well, there we go then. Wow, I'm, I'm quite happy with the realm then. We did a pretty good job. We had a, a great successor. She's done an incredible job too. Brave, callous, and ambitious. She's she's just a great character. I, I think this realm is, is pretty much unshakable. And that is, of course, the side effect of, of having massively immortal characters. That's, that's not much of a surprise at all. But hey, there we go. A stable realm, a stable house. Shame Alexander died at the final hurdle because I would be so interested to see if he would have survived this time lapse too. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, credit to her. The, the one successor of Alexander did a, I mean, equally as good a job as he did at the end of the day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed our first look at the Princes of Darkness series. Of course, we'll be coming back uh, to this at some other stage. I think playing like a vampire down in Africa or over in, uh, over in India would be awesome. Somebody left a comment yesterday as well saying that apparently, apparently like the Far East have their own set of vampires and kind of uniqueness over there so that'd be kind of fun to maybe sweep over from from the east next time but there's a lot to see like the scarlet dragon court sounds awesome so we'll potentially do something like that we'll give it a couple of months obviously left in the oven uh see if the game can well i mean depending on when the next up big update is i guess um but we'll, we'll pick it up after that and sort of see what's changed of course we're expecting a dlc for ck3 probably before then at some stage as well so a lot going on as for, for so this is technically our first total conversion series completed and you know what i think it was on a high note we could go for a total world conquest but I, I think it would probably bore you guys as much as it would bore me just sit here declaring war over and over and over so I'm, I'm really happy with the ending um i would offer people the save game i don't know how it works um i would offer people the save game but i think it would probably uh, you'd have to match my mods i assume i'll t i will do some testing over discord see what we can do with that because i know people like like looking around and kind of Maybe even setting up their own character inside things as well. In the meantime, a big thank you to our executive coffee producers who allow me to spend uh, apparently seven hours a day producing one video. So a thank you to Darkus, Odie, Sonic Uberetto, Emily, Moira, Mythomatic, Big Weeb, Layla, Scarlet Bard, Jan, Buen Gun, Juncture On, Asura and the Cat, and my name isn't Dio, along with everybody at the executive producer tiers for making the channel possible in the first place. So a big thank you to those guys for keeping things going. A thank you as well to Sh Chatulski. Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smurtworm, Galupo, Fruit Hag, Don, Afanafis, Dinosius the Esoteric, Flabubba, Plumby, Fred, and Valo, along with you at home for watching, and of course everyone over at Coffee, and anyone who's ever supported the channel in its history of existence. All, <laughs> like, two years of it. Thank you, guys. See you all tomorrow for... I don't even know what's coming next. I'll have to take a look around.